Hello Lords, this is going to be a marketplace guide. If this video helps you, please like it, leave a silly comment for the algorithm, and don't subscribe to me. Alright, a marketplace can be in any configuration you like. So once you click on it, you'll be able to see how much food variety, clothing, and fuel each house has. Now, it's very interesting. There's no radius to the marketplace, but really kind of it's determined by how far away the house is. So the houses that are closer are going to get to the marketplace faster and therefore get the items quick, get the items quicker. And the houses that are further away will, so will sometimes not make it there in time and the items will sell out. So you kind of have to have a bigger surpluses of certain things to accommodate for houses that are further away. So you really need to keep all your houses close to your marketplace and it should be very centralized, at least around your, your homes. Okay, so you can click on it here. You can go and you can actually check and see what everybody's got. And you can make sure everybody's got everything. You can see actually on the house that's on the very far left doesn't have any vegetables, all right, or meat. But the other houses that are closer to the marketplace do. So you can actually see it there, how it kind of works out that way. And then, of course, there's fuel and there's clothing. Now, all the, I, all the uh, markets, the stalls, are going to show up there automatically based on the industry that you have in your, your town. So, for instance, I got the woodcutter's lodge here. And you can see he has a little marketplace stall on him. So as he cuts down wood, he's going to go to the marketplace to sell it. And that's the same for any other item in the game. All right, so the main thing is to just keep your houses close to the market and uh, and everything else should work out. <laughs> All right, if this video helped you, please like it. Leave a silly comment for the algorithm and don't subscribe to me.